Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. This is Tayman2037, and I just kind of feel like playing Banjo Kazooie right now. I'm coming up to the really hard parts in Banjo Tooie, my other Let's Play going on right now, and I just don't feel like going through that at the moment. So, Banjo Kazooie is a lot shorter and simpler game, so I'm just gonna do that, knock off a world or two before I go to work, and that's about it. It's another fun game. Don't know it as well as Banjo Tooie, but I'm pretty sure I can still 100% it. We'll watch the intro cutscene because some of you complain that you want to watch the intro cutscene. I just skipped them in Banjo Tooie, so. This is where we get introduced to Gratilda for the first time. One of the most compelling characters in the video game world. No, not quite. And they're just parroting off of Snow White, but with rhyming. And just like the evil witch in Snow White, she gets pissed because Banjo's little sister, Tootie, is prettier than her. Oh man, look at that. She looks just adorable. I think the music's really cheerful right here. There's 2D running down. Oh, strange is 2D is nowhere to be seen in Banjo Tooie. You can see her on a on a milk carton in one of the areas of Cloud Cuckoo Land, the last world of Banjo Tooie, and it says missing or have you seen me or something like that. So Rare obviously knew they didn't put her in the game or didn't forget about her. I mean, she's kind of an important plot point of the first game, so I wonder why they wouldn't put her in the second one. But this isn't a game for story. Here comes Grunty, oh no! And now they're taking the main theme of that song we just heard and just kind of making it depressed and sad. Doing this for you guys. I mean, I don't think the cutscenes of Magic 2 and Kazooie are anything special, but like I said, some people have complained that I've been skipping the cutscenes, so. <laughs> so Kazooie knows what's going on and. She, she can't do anything if Banjo's backpack hanging on the shelf right now. And Banjo just being a great older brother, paying attention to the needs and peril of her, his sister. So right here, we have the option of going around and learning all the moves in the game, in the, our intro moves in the game, but I don't want to do that, because that takes time, so we can just, we can skip over manually learning the moves in Slough Mountain, and we can just hit yes, we know that we want, we want to move on, and it'll automatically give us those moves, so you don't need to walk around and get them. You can't skip the moves and when we go to the actual worlds, obviously, because that would just kind of take the challenge away. Yes, I'm good enough, Bottles. 
And so I'm, I'm sorry if you wanted to watch me learn the moves and use them. But unless you're a, a, just a total noob, you should know what goes on. But we're going to use these moves to get six honeycomb pieces in Spiral Mountain. That's one of them. What's odd in this game is there's, there's no grip grab. There's no way to grab onto ledges. Which you would think is one of the most basic things in an action-adventure platformer like this. So why they would leave it out of the first game, I have no idea. But you really don't need to use it at all. Plus they kind of, if you're, if you're just about to get on the ledge, they kind of give you a little boost. But you will notice that you will not be able to grab onto any ledges. And on top of one of these trees... Oh, we got the first one. That's good. And we don't have the, the fast swing move from Boundary 2 e which I really miss. I mean, this, ga this game is still fantastic, don't get me wrong. It's simpler, and it just kind of depends on what you're in the mood for. Banjo Tui is complex and bigger, and Banjo Kazooie is shorter and simpler. Both good games. It just depends what you're in the mood for. And right now, like I said, I don't feel like taking on the puzzle that is Grunty Industries. Which is probably one of the most confusing worlds in all of video game history if you don't know what to do to open it up. And there we have our six honeycomb piece, so you get an extra health boost. Now we are ready to go on to Grunty's Lair. You'll notice in this game, that in Spiral Mountain, the music's a lot happier. I have no idea why the music's so gloomy and depressing in Spiral Mountain and Banjo Tooie. Grunty just conveniently had a bridge built so we can enter her lair. You'd think she'd want to keep people out. But apparently not. Tootie's in a bit of a predicament. Grunty has to like angle her head so she fits in the machine. She must be pretty scared. So, but we'll rescue her. We won't worry about that. All right, got those intro cutscenes out of the way. I don't really have an estimate how long it's going to take me to beat the game, but hopefully it'll be fast. Maybe within six hours? I have no idea, really. I know the game, just I haven't really, for some reason I just haven't really kept track of it that well or speed ran it, because it's simple, you'd think that if it was simpler I'd be I'd want to speedrun it more. And this is another difference between Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. You, f you fill in puzzles in Banjo Kazooie where, and you actually use up your puzzle pieces, where in Banjo Tooie, if you have a set amount, you can solve a puzzle and you don't use them up. So they only need one piece for the first world. And we're going to demonstrate just how simple these worlds are, because this. This world will take me probably 10 minutes at the very most.
And we can't skip over learning the moves, so... Maybe after we learn the first one we can, but... But there aren't as many moves in this game. I think there are only nine that you learn in the world. So we're gonna come back and get those later. We're gonna learn another move here. <laughs> 